In quantum electrodynamics, Barber scattering is the electron-positron scattering process. There are two leading order Feynman diagrams contributing to this interaction, an annihilation process and a scattering process. Barber scattering is named after the Indian physicist Homi J. Barber. The Barber scattering rate is used as a luminosity monitor in electron-positron colliders. Differential cross-section to leading order. The spin average differential cross-section for this process is where s, t, and u are the Mandelstam variables, is the fine structure constant, and is the scattering angle. This cross-section is calculated neglecting the electron mass relative to the collision energy and including only the contribution from photon exchange. This is a valid approximation at collision energies small compared to the mass scale of the Z boson, about 91 GeV. At higher energies the contribution from Z boson exchange also becomes important. Mandelstam variables in this article. The Mandelstam variables are defined by where the approximations are for the high energy limit deriving unpolarized cross-section matrix elements. Both the scattering and annihilation diagrams contribute to the transition matrix element by letting K and K represent the four momentum of the positron, while letting P and P represent the four momentum of the electron. And by using Feynman rules one can show the following diagrams give these matrix elements. Notice that there is a relative sign difference between the two diagrams. Square of matrix element to calculate the unpolarized cross-section. One must average over the spins of the incoming particles and sum over the spins of the outgoing particles. That is, first, calculate. Scattering term magnitude squared of m sum over spins next, we'd like to sum over spins of all four particles. Let S and S be the spin of the electron and R and R be the spin of the positron. Now that is the exact form. In the case of electrons one is usually interested in energy scales that far exceed the electron mass. Neglecting the electron mass yields the simplified form. Annihilation term The process for finding the annihilation term is similar to the above. Since the two diagrams are related by crossing symmetry, and the initial and final state particles are the same, it is sufficient to permute the momenta, yielding solution evaluating the interference term along the same lines and adding the three terms yields the final result simplifying steps. Completeness relations The completeness relations for the four spinors U and V are where trace identities main article. Trace identities to simplify the trace of the Dirac gamma matrices, one must use trace identities. Three used in this article are the trace of any product of an odd number of s is zero. Using these two one finds that, for example, users Barber scattering has been used as a luminosity monitor in a number of E plus E minus collider physics experiments. The accurate measurement of luminosity is necessary for accurate measurements of cross-sections. Small angle Barber scattering was used to measure the luminosity of the 1993 run of the Stanford Large Detector, with a relative uncertainty of less than 0.5%. Electron-positron colliders operating in the region of the low-lying hadronic resonances, such as the Beijing electron synchrotron and the Bell and Barbar B factory experiments, use large-angle Barber scattering as a luminosity monitor to achieve the desired precision at the 0.1% level. The experimental measurements must be compared to a theoretical calculation, including next to leading order radiative corrections. The high precision measurement of the total hadronic cross-section at these low energies is a crucial input into the theoretical calculation of the anomalous magnetic dipole moment of the muon, which is used to constrain supersymmetry and other models of physics beyond the standard model.